I have here a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. This device looks good. It doesn't have any scratch, anything on the screen, but the screen is not working. As you can see, after plugging a charger, I do not have anything on the screen. So the first thing, I do not even know if the motherboard of this device is still good. So I'm going to try something to see if the device is working and the problem is the screen only. After plugging my USB-C hub, I see on the monitor that the device is showing me the time. So the device is on and it is working. I did get this device for less than $100 dollars so it was a good deal after knowing that this galaxy s21 ultra itself is working and we have a problem with the screen i'm going to start by hitting the back cover of this device in order to remove it without cracking it that is the first step and after that i'm going to check the connection and see if i can find something that will make the screen work i have inserted my first guitar pick at the bottom portion of this s21 ultra after hitting a little bit the sides of this device i grab my guitar pick and run it to the side of the device. I'm going very carefully because I do not want to crack the back glass of this S21 Ultra. It doesn't have any scratch and it looks very good. The bottom portion and the right and the left of this S21 Ultra are already separated from the frame of the device. I just need to do the upper half of this device with the camera bump and I will be able to remove the back glass of this S21 Ultra intact. With this massive aluminum camera bump, you need to be careful on that area in order to not crack the glass. Because the camera bump has so much double-sided tape on it, it is a little bit difficult to remove it compared to the other sides of the device. I can see that this device was never open because the double-sided tape on the inside is of grayish color and it was very strong and very sticky. Since the back glass of this S21 Ultra is already out of the device, we need to remove all the screws in order to start our troubleshooting of the screen of this device. I have removed all the screws out of this S21 Ultra and I started disconnecting the flex cables that are on the wireless charging coil. On the last S22 Ultra that I did a screen replacement, I did have a problem with the new screen that I installed and it was a bad connection with the flex cable. The absolute first thing that you need to do is to disconnect the battery cable. This is the cable that I just disconnected and after after that, I disconnected the screen flex cable. That is the big cable that is in the middle of the motherboard. After that, I applied some pressure on all the other flex cables that are connected to the motherboard. And then I grabbed my charger and plugged the device with my USB-C charger. I can see on the charger that the device is getting charged. This device was getting 10 watt of charge rate and the screen is still not responding. There is no charging circle on the screen. So I decided to remove everything out of the frame of this device and do a better assessment of the internals of the device. Look at the motherboard and look at any other component to make sure that there is nothing that has been fried on it. After disconnecting all the flex cables, I was able to remove the motherboard and see the inside of this device. As I look inside the device, I do not see anything wrong inside the frame of the device. And also while looking at the front of the motherboard, I looked carefully and I do not see any burn marks or anything that can show me that this motherboard has some issues. The back of the motherboard also doesn't have any white spot, any black spot or any burn marks. In some devices, a bad charging module can prevent the motherboard from working normally and I also found some devices where without a charging module the device is still working and functioning and charging with only the wireless charging. This is the new screen that I purchased. We already knew that the motherboard is kind of working. This was confirmed after I did my Samsung DeX test. So right now after I install the motherboard I'm going to install only the critical component that are necessary for the device to turn on and after that we can see if the screen the new screen is working and the device is indeed in good condition. Everything was installed except the speakers and the wireless charging coil. So I'm going to plug the device with my charger and we should have a green circle meaning that the screen is working. The screen has light up. This is already a good sign and as we can see on the bottom with the charger we have 15 watt of charging instead of the 11 or 10 that we had with the bad screen. The next thing that we need to do was to turn the device and see if the device is working. The touch 
screen is responding and everything is working with the new screen. After pressing on the power button for a while, the screen just turned on. We have the Samsung Galaxy logo. You should always test the new equipment or the new part that you install on your smartphone. You absolutely do not want to close the device, seal everything and realize that your smartphone is not working. So right now I know that the motherboard is in good condition. The device is charging normally also. The only thing left is to retest the old screen because that screen doesn't have any scratch. I did test the screen once again and I didn't find anything wrong with that screen. The screen simply does not turn on despite the device getting charged and getting everything right while using the device on Samsung DeX. I'm going to continue troubleshooting that screen later because I think I need to remove the frame of the device in order to see the screen and the internals of that screen. So right now I have installed everything that I took out of this S21 Ultra and I just need to reinstall all the screws. Right before you close the device, I recommend that you test the device once again. I tested the wireless charging and the charging by cable once again because previously the wireless charging was not on while I did my first test. I also missed the 5G antenna at the top right of the device Make sure that you reinstalled everything that you remove out of the device before you close the device. Everything was reinstalled on the S21 Ultra and this is the back cover that I purchased in order to seal the back of this S21 Ultra. This is a good back cover. It has double sided tape all around the camera bezel but there is one thing missing. We are missing one camera lens on the back cover and I do not understand how they could send me something without a camera glass. It will simply be useless for me to install this back cover and wait for another one so i'm going to reinstall the old back cover that i removed it is still intact in good condition you can reinstall your old back glass if it is not broken you just need to apply a little bit of b7000 on top of the double-sided tape if the double-sided tape are still on the back cover if the double-sided tape is broken and cut all around the back cover you can watch the video on the screen for the back glass replacement on the s21 ultra i did both with b7000 and a new back cover Subscribe, like and share and I will see you next time.